I'm uh, Vakar. I live locally in Harbon. I think this is an opening day for uh, an independent candidate, uh, Ammar. So I've come here to support him and so that the launch is uh, done properly and, uh, and, and create enthusiasm among the people who are attending. So I think we, having supported the mainstream political parties, uh, this is the first time uh, I feel that I've got a real choice in uh, trying to identify an independent person who can take all the boxes, all the uh, areas and the aspects uh, I, I'm concerned with. So who do you know about? I think it's just a multitude, so it's uh, uh, green, labor, uh, you know, it's uh, just a mixture of uh, Lib Dem uh, on occasion, so it's uh, not, not, not stick with one uh, haven't voted Conservative so far, so would you vote? Yeah, I probably would have uh, voted for Labour, but uh, I think the way the, the Labour Party, uh, uh, Keir Starmer, behaved, which was totally inappropriate, and I think it probably alienated quite a lot of his own Labour members, uh, and um, unfortunately he failed to engage. I think had he only engaged himself with the, with the topic uh, which uh, caused a lot of concern, people would have probably forgiven him. But I think the very fact that he failed to engage uh, was, uh, uh, in my opinion, a big mistake. Hi, my name is Val Dodds and I'm a neighbour of uh, Amar and his parents in Warsaw. I'm absolutely thrilled because I know him to be a person of conviction. I know that he feels very passionately about what's being done by the two main parties, as a lot of us do, and we need somebody who's prepared to stand up and challenge what they're doing. I think he's got a good chance. I mean, he's, in, he's intelligent, he's articulate, he believes what he's saying, and I wish him the very best of luck. I don't suppose, support any of the main parties, mainly because I don't know what Labour stands for really, the, the goalposts are moved, the, the policies are altered, gone back on. Um, I wouldn't vote Tory if you paid me. I think the independents are in with a strong chance. I think there's a mood swing amongst people. They've had enough of the two main parties and they'll go with somebody who stands up, says what they believe and is prepared to work to get there. First of all, the government should have called for a ceasefire. What's happened in Gaza is absolutely just, oh, you can't, it's speechless, isn't it, about it. Um, and the things that he mentioned, um, uh, peace and justice, which is a Corbyn thing, um, social housing, support the NHS, uh, support our basic safety net that was in place under the proper Labour government or proper Labour Party, the safety net that caught people who were struggling, couldn't manage, couldn't get housing, all that has been destroyed. We need somebody back in politics prepared to fight for it all. I'm Nick Carr, I'm a local resident in Quinton. I want to support Dr Amar because I think at the moment we've got too many professional politicians from all the main parties, Labour, Tory, who are all, you know, want to keep things as they are, keep the status quo. They've all said they're not going to provide more money for a decent pay rise for NHS workers. They're not going to do anything to sort out the crisis in social care. A whole number of other issues ordinary working class people are facing. And that's why I think it would be better to put a doctor who knows what it's like on the front line, knows the issues that we face day to day into Parliament as one of us to stand up to this area. Well, I think you couldn't put much, much more than a fag paper between Tories, Labour or Lib Dems now. Keir Starmer, a lot of issues, is trying to out-Tory the Tories. And, that, and I think whatever, whatever the result on Thursday 4th, you know, we need to start building an alternative for working class people that can unite us on all the different problems that we face in our day-to-day -day lives and all the different reasons that people have to be angry at the establishment and hopefully this campaign can be part of the building blocks of that. I think for me, part of the problem is really how 
how housing is a major is a major issue. This state where I live, when that was first built, it was a it was a council estate. People could live there no matter you know who their family was, if they was an existing Birmingham resident, and they'd have the right to a decent home at an affordable rate, and it'd be there for as long as they need it. Now, it's a lottery based on whether you can put in for a social house, whether you get, or if you have to rent privately, whether you get one of the better landlords or one of the worst ones, and there's plenty of worse ones, let's be honest. And also the issue and you know for people trying to buy their own home working away and to pay and to pay you know about hundreds of thousands of months on a mortgage that's becoming more and more expensive due to the crisis created by Tory politicians and by the banks and I think everyone should it's not too much to ask everyone should have the right to a decent secure home for as long as they need it um, that they can afford. I think that can be a start having an MP like Dr Amar could be, you know, he could put pressure on the council to build more affordable housing, to take on the government for the funding that needs that, and to be a voice for ordinary homeowners and renters, not landlords and big property developers like a lot of the main parties are. I think it's brilliant to see the number of people who are standing independently from the main parties and wanting to wanting to have a go. And I think in this election, there's no, there's a very good chance that we could see some independent MPs elected. But even if not. Like when they having uh, having independent candidates, having getting campaigns off the ground, going out sinking roots in the local areas, that can be the start of after an election, as people see what a star of government means in practice, to get together, start organising a new ma a new mass party for working class people, and in a way, this is this can be the practice run before in a few years' time potentially could make even larger larger inroads. It took, you know, twenty years from the first independent Labour MP standing for a block of Labour candidates to get elected back in the back at, at the start of the twentieth century. I think we can manage it much more quickly now because of all the all the you know the crises people are facing in their lives now. And hopefully this can be this can be the start of that and it can and it can stop Labour taking the votes of working class people, people from diverse communities for granted like they have for decades now and start and start forcing them to sit up and take notice that we're not going to be ignored anymore.